Hello and welcome. And in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of most important features that are currently for sure going into the uh, Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer 1.6. So as you can see on the screen, I have the beta number one running for 1.6.0 for Affinity Photo. So uh, let's get into the uh, stuff. So what's what's the parent uh, new? So basically, if we go to the preferences and we go to user interface, as you can see, we now can uh, turn the UI into the light mode, which, uh, you know, as the forums, uh, people on forums on Affinity said that it could work, it could use a bit of work. And I'm currently not the, you know, not a bit big fan of this kind of uh, presentation, but it's there. In any case, um, you could always uh, just go and uh, tweak this stuff as UA gamma and uh, whatnot. So uh, it should retain the same things right there. But again, I'm just used more used to um, work in this kind of environment where everything is dimmed down and I'm into the uh, project. Uh, in any case, uh, next up, uh, they have rewritten a bit of uh, underlying engine and they said that, I mean, Affinity said that it should work faster. Now, just uh, I'll go and create a new fourth, uh, 4K by 3K uh, pixels. No. And uh, we dive into the really exciting stuff for anyone who is interested in drawing and painting. And this is the stroke stabilizer. As you can see, if we go, right, uh, so let's say we are in the move tool and we go into the, uh, our brush tool and create a new pixel layer and start, uh, start uh, drawing. And uh, we can see this little box that is saying stabilizer. Now, currently it is off and if I turn it on, uh, we can go and check out the different modes of the stabilizer. So first of all, is uh, it is rope mode and window mode. So what is uh, what is the difference? Okay, let me um, let me show you in some exaggerated examples. So of rope mode, uh, it means that you are uh, kind of moving your pencil or your brush uh, on a little rope. Uh, on a thread or what's what is it what you want to call it so basically it's like pulling a uh, pulling brush that you are tying to something right so where you can use it is basically uh, while doing some things that require um, harsh angles like um, lettering for example let's write the word hello right as you can see, um, it is kind of very easy to create this kind of uh, conjunction in the brushes. So the difference between this and the window mode, the window doesn't uh, care much about your movements. It cares more about the timing between what you are drawing. So let's say I want to draw the same uh, word hello starting from H and as you as you will see it will pay attention to the time that is being used to draw so uh, for example currently you don't see much of a difference right but what if I increase the my speed of drawing like this right so now it's in the uh, I'm, I'm using the, if I'm using the correct word, interpolates uh, the time between my brush strokes and it kind of, you know, negates the, uh, negates the angles and the jitter. So you might be thinking, uh, it destroys my uh, work, right? <laughs> Why would I use it? So, for example, if you have a nasty jitter in your driving I mean, in your drawing, um, like, uh, for example, you don't have uh, some some kind of latest Surface Book or, you know, Wacom 
that costs a lot, a lot. You have something more basic. And uh, people always say that uh, the sometimes, you know, drawing diagonal lines, right, is not ideal. So when you are really slowly drawing the diagonal lines on, on something that is not super, super premium and costs a lot, you sometimes uh, end up, let me, let me show you, something like this, right? It jitters. So what stabilizer uh, will do for you, let's say I exaggerate the effects even more, if you have a severe jitter, it will negate it, right? If I draw even like this, it will still negate it, as you can see. So uh, if you have some problems with jittering or straight lines, it will solve for you. It will solve uh, just this for you. So example, you don't need to use the 128 window, right? You can use like something 13 or anything that it would not destroy your workflow, but still it will make your lines more, more and more straight and, uh, you know, just, just like you want them. Uh, same thing goes to the rope mode. You don't have to use the maximum, but if you want some um, basic like hello uh, world, right? So if you want to have this kind of stuff going on, you should, you should probably use a rope. And if you want to negate the jitter, you should probably go with the window mode. So uh, for example, I want to show you a bit more uh, drawing the circles and ellipses with the rope mode. It's much harder to get this sort of stuff. Whereas with the window mode, you have, you end up with much more smooth versions of this stuff. So again, it's a personal preference and I'm uh, really into this stuff that they are doing, right? Uh, it's very useful. Of course, uh, sometimes it just helps you to draw stuff like like this for example if you are into lettering or that sort of stuff so you can just go out and make very smooth and beautiful uh, this kind of design designy stuff i'm not sure how it's how it's called or you just <clears throat> you know sketching and doing stuff okay so basically it's the same with a affinity designer right and um I just wanted to showcase uh, a couple of more things that are new to the beta. So if we go into the text, where is it? Um, if we go into the text and click here, uh, as you can see, uh, when we choose the font, there are many more things. You can add the font to the favorites. You can uh, choose what, you can see what was recent, what was used. And of course, if you uh, like, uh, for example, let's add the Athelos to our favorites. It's now in favorites, so you don't have to spend time uh, searching for it next time. So yeah, mm, very, very smooth. Really, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff going on, right? And uh, I'm basically also recording this stuff and I'm using the um, Astropod to control what's going on on the screen. So really, really responsive, really fast, uh, really good. They brought something that they improved something, shader something. I'm not sure what's that, but you know, uh, I suppose it's for the better. And of course, uh, it features the same stuff with the brushes, right? So we go and choose, I know, again, the same brush. I'll press B to enter the drawing mode. Whoops. Okay, this is better. And as you can see, we have the same stabilizers as, as in the Affinity Photo. So there you go. Ah, yeah, of course, it has the Lights User Interface mode as well. So yeah, I hope that uh, helped you, you know, understand what's going on in the development stage of 
affinity designer and photo and uh, I didn't opt in for their iPad. Uh, affinity better, but I suppose they have some kind of same-ish stuff there. In any case, uh, there are some things that I'm really looking forward in the new in the new updates for Affinity Designer and Photo, and I hope you too. I hope that um, helps you kind of you know get the overview of what the development team from Serif have been working on. And yeah, I'm uh, color me totally excited. It's very you know important for me for uh, someone who supports the team. I mean, I bought all their apps on <laughs> on every store that they have. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the upcoming versions, about the betas, and I hope to see you in next videos. See ya!